bear with me just a minute here. I'm going to get a few things set up. And we'll check my... Uh, Okay, so today I thought I would attempt something I haven't done before, which is a saw blade. Um, so what I did was take a uh, regular old saw blade here, and I uh, put a black acrylic on it, okay? And uh, we're just going to see what we can do here. I've never really done a saw blade before, so it's going to be very interesting. Um, I think I'm going to try a little winter scene, maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, but we'll just see. It'll kind of be a learning experience for me. And thank you guys for, for joining me. I'm just uh, putting some color out of my palette. Uh, I've got some Prussian blue, some midnight black, and I'm going to go with some titanium white. Um... Now, in order to kind of stabilize the saw blade, I had a uh, canvas, and it's got a rip back behind it. So I'm using that canvas to kind of stabilize it, because when I put it in my easel, it would tilt her. So the tooth kind of caught here, the tooth caught here, and then we've got a nice support going. So, well, thank you for the light. I really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is a little uh, Prussian blue here, a little black. Just gonna mix them here, and then I'm gonna pull a little white off to the side here. We're just gonna load the brush. We're gonna kind of get that blue-gray sky feel. So, again, just Prussian blue, midnight black, and some titanium white. And oh, we're gonna say I'm gonna come up to the top here and just put in the sky. Okay. Now, this, this is a little bit different than canvas because the canvases are porous and they take paint, whereas the metal, I'm just kind of gliding over it, um, just putting thin, thin amount of paint on there. Okay, and we'll leave some area because we're going to probably stream in some clouds here. Thank you guys for, for joining me. It's awesome when people hop in my live and see what I'm about now. See what I'm up to and what I'm painting today. So, I did put a little extra titanium white here on the bottom. Okay. And just because it's not sticking the way I want it to, I'm going to dab a little paint thinner just a little bit. As you can see, I'm pushing out of my brush here. So I'm going to put a little titanium white and we're going to kind of put a thin coat on here. Okay? And we'll see how this works out. Like I said, I've never done a fan brush before. Or a, a <laughs> saw blade before. So. But, like that, We've got a sky. Just that easy. Thank you guys for the follows. All right, now I'm gonna come in with the fan brush with some titanium white, and we'll just kind of scrub the idea of some clouds here. I'm just kind of twisting and using my my not, um, my brush here to just kind of give that fluffy feel. <laughs> All right. Hey, Joshua. Hey, uh, great job on your painting today, bro. Isn't it so fun and amazing what a little bit of paint can do for a person's soul? <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I'm just doing what we normally do, and I'm fluffing the clouds a little bit. I'm going to do. I do want the top a bit darker. 
So I'm going to pull into my Prussian blue and my black. We're just going to kind of make the top a little bit darker there. Okay. Let's darken that sky a little bit. The night's coming in and the clouds are rolling out. Yeah, it really is relaxing. I was kind of having a rough day myself physically. So I thought, you know what, I'll just hop on live and do something I haven't done before. Okay, we're just going to layer the clouds like that. Alright. You know, same thing, I'm just going to kind of fluff these clouds, leaving that, that ridge there. Okay, now the paint is having a little problem sticking. Um, I can use the paint thinner. Or what I should have done was kind of rough this up a little bit more, but that's okay. We'll go with it. So, now yeah, let's put another big old fluffy cloud right there. How about that? I'm just layer up a couple. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my brush is actually trying to pull the paint off. Um, so I'm going to thin it down just a little bit, and that should make it stick more. So yeah, I'm just going to fluff real quick, and just lightly blending across, kind of making layers here. Again, I'm going to be careful of the edges here. Okay. And there we go. We've got our clouds done. Now then, I'm going to put some paint thinner on this titanium white on my fan brush, okay? And we're going to kind of flick it a bit, and we're just going to put a few stars up at the top there. Just by flicking my brush, just little beads, little stars, starting to show. Make sure to get all the way up there. Right. Oop. Oop. That's okay. Got a little too close with my fan brush. And there we go. Flopped a big old blob on there. We'll just fluff it out. We'll fluff it out. Do it again. All right, Colorado's here. That's awesome. Oof. That was too hard of a flick. <laughs> Boy. That's okay. We'll just blend this out and we'll redo it. It's all right. There we go. Got some stars in the sky now. All right. Now, what I think we're going to do, I'm going to come in with my brush. And we're going to go right into that blue, use up all my Prussian blue, some of the white, and let's come right across here. We're going to make some water, okay? There we are. And we can lighten and brighten it. I add more white if we want, a little more titanium white, kind of brighten the middle a little bit, and let's go all the way down with it. I'm kind of using the same principles as the wet on wet technique, well I mean it is wet on wet, but uh, same principles as the, uh, if I was using a canvas. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit, oh, I've got some what they call uh, reclaimed gray. Um, when a company makes paint, and part of the curing process and stuff, their soots get full, and uh, 
they swipe them out and all those colors and everything they mix into a, a gray color. So I'm going to use some of that with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and oh, some Prussian Blue. And I appreciate all the, the likes and the, and the follows, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, I've got that next. There's that gray color. And then we're going to go brown, blue, and a little bit of black. Okay. Apparently I had some white on there, but that's okay. We're just going to mix it up into a nice gray-blue tone. Okay, Oof. it's looking pretty good there. I may toss a little more blue on there just to make up some more color. Yeah, guys, if you could share and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, the amount of uh, likes really... Uh, Help me get seen. All right, so put a little more Prussian blue or Van Dyke brown. Ooh. Drop my lid. I need to put that back on. Ooh. Safety first. Okay, so there we go. Now we're getting kind of the darker gray color I wanted. In fact, we can scrape. Okay, now I'm going to cut a little ribbon of paint here, and oh, where should we have these mountains, right, right there, yeah, right, right up in front, okay, and again, I'm just going to kind of move the knife around, boy, this is definitely different, this is way more different canvas. We'll see if we can get the desired breaks and, and things that we want. I'm just going to scrape off any excess paint, but I can't scrape too far because otherwise I scrape it right off the blade. And thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Why don't you go, so I, I know I got Colorado in the house, but why don't you tell me where you guys are from? All right, I'm gonna make a jagged peak right there. Bring this down. Like I said, I've never done a saw blade, so this will, well, I've done one, and it didn't turn out how I wanted, so I wiped the whole darn thing off, and this is actually that, the blade that I did this on, so, oof, boy. This is an interesting surface to try to work with. Let me set this palette down and use two hands so I can guide a little bit better. Okay. Yep. There we go. Put a little baby guy out there. Right there. Little baby ridge. Okay. Like so. North Carolina. All right. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull down the excess paint, okay? And kind of determine where my ridges are, how my mountain's going to flow, okay? Pull all that excess paint right off, right down. We are, okay? Now, I'm gonna get out some more titanium white. Okay. Palette knife here. And we're just gonna flatten that, okay? Now, that's a little bright, because it is nighttime. So I'm going to add just a little bit of blue here. There we go. Oof, that's a fun marble color. Look at that. 
All right. Let's, let's put the shadow side in, I think. Oops. Scrape that up, otherwise it's all going to be white. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for the likes. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Where's our light source? Well, we've got a fluffy cloud on this side, so we'll say light source kind of over there. So we're just going to do the same thing. Just let it break. Now, it's going to be harder to achieve some of that snowy mountain break color because I'm not using a canvas. I'm using a saw blade. valley here. Put some right off the edge of the saw blade there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the shadow side. I'm going to take that leftover titanium white and this blue mountain mixture that I made up and I'm just going to mix that and that'll be our shadow side. Now, I will add another layer of white, but I just had to see how well this did the breaking. And that's how you get your mountains, is that, that break. And since it's not doing it very well, I want to re-strategizing how I'm doing this. So, tell you what, there's shadow there. Whoa up actually pulling some more brighter white right up front. Yeah, wow, okay. Kind of like how this is going so far. Like I said, the last time I did this, I just wiped my blade clean because I didn't really like it. But <clears throat> right now, we're turning out okay, I think. Clean my brush. I'll pull you guys in for a closer shot shortly here. But just don't, I have noticed because I'm a left-handed or I'm left-handed that my arm gets in the way quite a bit. So, all right, there we go. Ooh, that's bright. Oofta. There we go. Let's pull that snow right down there. We've got some snow going. Okay. Hide that a little bit behind the back of the mountain. Now, bring some snow right there. A little bit here. Who knows? We'll probably end up covering this side up. But. Okay. I think I'm just going to whisk a little bit to get it fuzzy. I'm, be, I'm following the same plane, okay? Same direction as the mountain. Kind of get that, that mist, that fuzz. Okay? Like so, and then we'll just lightly blend out of it. I've got some of this mountain mixture that I made up. Still rocking that. And since that has <coughs> blues and blacks in it, I know that I can add green to it. So I'm going to pull a little phthalo green off to the side. And thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. You guys, all the shares, they help me so much. I'm telling you. So I'm going to take some phthalo green and that leftover mountain mixture here. Just squish it flat, mix it up real good. Okay. Now, I think what I'm 
do. Same old dirty old brush. Just gonna pull some of that color in. And we're just gonna make some foothills. Oof, that really textured. That's interesting. Very interesting. Popping it on here, and we'll just see what comes of it. How about that, guys? Uh, half the time, I know, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll just pop, brush sideways here. To neat little things going on. Brush sideways here. To neat little things going on. Pop, 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 pop. You can hear my diesel rattle when I'm popping. Just like that. Okay. Now, I do see there's a few things I want to fix before I go forward. So I'm going to do that right now. I want more snow. It's interesting that saw blade... Well, thank you. How are you doing, girl? Rachel, I believe. Yeah, I'm horrible with names. <laughs> oh, there's so many TikTok friends. I'm bad with names to begin with. And then you add... Add names to their. Uh, what do I want to say? Login name. I, I forget their real names. But hey, thank you, thank you for the, the share. I'm just gonna pull some white down. There we go. That's really making that mountain pop. That's what I wanted there. A little more. more white. That's, there we go. That's really layering in there. Or Krista. Gosh darn it. <laughs> yeah. Rachel, Rachel Gorgeous. That's who I was thinking of. My bad. <clears throat> Krista. Alright. I'm going to try not to forget that love. <laughs> okay. And now, because I want this to be like whole winter scene. I'm going to put a little paint thinner on and I'm going to pull some white. So I'm just uh, putting paint thinner on. I'm pulling some white in this mountain mixture color we made. And we're going to pump in some highlights real quick. So by doing that I'm just touching. Ooh, let's go a little brighter so you guys can see that. How about that? Pull into some more white. Ooh, there we go. That's a frosted, frigid color. And we'll just turn the brush every which way. Just to pop in the idea. Some trees way back across the lake there. All right. Now, I'm going to take a palette knife. I'm going to attempt a waterline. Normally the canvas would suck all this up. Uh, oh, no, before I do that, I'm going to do uh, shadows. So let me just pull this down a little bit. Just pulling straight down. And then we're going to blend right across. Like that. Got to make those sound effects. <laughs> all right. Now let's see if I can cut. Yeah, I can. Still cut in a little bit of a water line there. Make it kind of just a couple bit of movements there. If I don't like something, I can just gently blend it out, okay? Just like that. Gently blend it out until it's almost gone. Ooh, getting a little carried away, my brush. Okay, let's try that again. Now that I know what I'm up against here, <laughs> this is second time. Hey, Fizz. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. This is the uh, second time I've done a blade. So, y'all are learning with me, and that's well, that's the best part. I'm 
learning together. Let's make a little bit of water movement here and there. Okay. Heck yeah. I'm digging that. I'm digging it. Thank you so much for the tips. I really appreciate it. All the tips that I do receive go right back into me getting more paint supplies so that I can paint for you guys. Okay. So now I'm just going to grab real quick. I have some black right here and all this color. I'll just mix it up real quick. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm going to mix up a little bit more. We're kind of shy on what I need because we're going to add a few things. So off to the side here. And, and sorry guys, I'm sitting in a chair. I normally stand a lot, but I'll show you what I'm doing here shortly. But um, my, I had knee surgery, and so my leg's in a brace, so I'm trying to take it easy. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for the tip. That's so amazing. That's so awesome. Okay. So, I'm just going to mix this color up. I have black, thalo, uh, Prussian blue, and thalo green. And just going to mix that up real quick. Okay. All right. Now then, one I really I did like having kind of this type of look here, this frosty look. So I'm probably going to continue that. So real quick, off to the side here. I'm just going to punch in weeds and reeds and grass. And, oh, what, maybe a bush. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But right now I'm just kind of blocking something in there. Because what I'm going to do is load up a fan brush. All right. This is a bravery test. Let's right there. Okay. I'm going to put yeah, I appreciate every gift and every share, comments. I appreciate them all, folks. Oh, boy. There we go. We're going to plant that tree right there. And uh, we'll put another one right there. Maybe a couple. Who knows? Do some highlights here shortly. I tell you what, I'm gonna be like Bob, and we're gonna have a big crazy tree. I, I thought I was gonna do some bushes here, which I'll probably do right down here. But let's. We need a big boomer, big old, big old tree there. Hey, Severed, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Second attempt here of painting a saw blade just using the corner of my brush and then as these branches get bigger I use more of the brush so. I'll tell you what because I goofed up the tippy top of this tree we're going to bring it right up to the top of that saw blade. There we go. Now we'll make this a little bit wider. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, with my fan brush, I'll make sure to get all the bottoms of the blades Gonna pop in some grass there. Nice, that's great. That's great. Yeah, oils are amazing. I was always hesitant to swap. When I did, boy, I haven't looked back. <laughs> We're just gonna glob a tree back in there too. We need. 
little cemetery. Semen cemetery? I'm doing trees and talking about cemetery. Okay. That works great. <laughs> okay. Now then, what we're going to do, because I want this real cold kind of feeling. Um, I'm going to darken back here just a little bit. Darken some areas. It's a little too bright now. In fact, if we wanted to, I got this. I got a bunch of leftover paint, so we can just chop in the idea with the edge of our fan brush. The idea of some trees growing there. Um, no, so I mixed. Um, how do I uh, ratio wise? It'd be one part midnight black because it's very strong. About three parts phthalo green and about two part, one or two part of uh, Prussian blue. Yeah, there we go. Just chopping the ideas of trees in there. Like I said, I've got a lot of this dark. I'm, I overmixed my dark paint. So, I'm going to use it, and we're just going to chop in some trees. Instead of bushes, these are now trees. Boy, I've never, never made it this far on a, a, saw, a sawmill uh, blade before. Okay. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight with the same, we're going to keep kind of a blue-green tone. So I'm going to dip a little bit of paint thinner over here, and I'm going to pull this leftover titanium white, nice thick white, and we're going to go into that. I'm going to grab up all my white, actually. I want this kind of bright. I want you guys to be able to see it. For liking my live and joining in. Let's just touch it here. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and bright. We can just, there we go, leave some dark back there. Now, what do we say we get to highlighting some trees? So I've got a little paint thinner on here, and since our light source is kind of this way, even though it's night, say there's a full moon somewhere over here, <laughs> um, we're only going to highlight one side of the tree. With the tippy top, you kind of do both, but then as you progress down, you want to stay more towards the left, just like that. Now then, we're going to do this side as well. Just highlight and go lighter and darker, darker as we get down. Darker, darker, less steps. Tell you what, guys, this is, I'm surprising myself on this one. I do think I know I'm going to add a little more white here for this front, but we'll continue on in the trees. So, again, just the edge of my fan brush. I tell you what, guys, as I tap along on my saw blade here, you should be tapping that screen. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, well, thank you for the guitar, Joshua. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're doing some tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Darker, darker. go. Okay, now I'm going to take my fan brush and just kind of, oh, just poke. And we're going to make, I'm going to take my fan brush and just kind of, oh, just poke. And we're going to make, and just kind of, oh, just poke. And we're going to make, 
the lay of the land there. Okay. And then what I like to do too, I'll pull a little paint thinner, just a touch of paint thinner. I'm talking a micro dot. And we'll just pull up a little bit. I'll give the idea of grass, okay? Just putting a few layered bits of grass there. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna clean a spot real quick. Just using a, a rag. Wiping a nice clean spot from the palette. We're going to do a little more touch up on that mountain. Since your eye is automatically going to go to the middle um, because of this hole, I need this to be just a little bit more brighter. So. You know, sometimes it looks good, the mountains and everything will look good. Um, but then you'll either take a step back or you'll fill in your painting and realize, oof, it doesn't look so good no more. So, just wanting to bring a little more attention to that mountain. Just like that. Now this paint doesn't really want to break like it would on a canvas. So we're gonna kind of force a break by just gently dragging, and you can see I'm just gently dragging and pulling along. Right there. Yeah, yeah, I won't overdo it. Just a touch. Oh, we'll just cut this line in a little bit. some movements here but there we go and again if I if I don't like something I can just hide it <laughs> I'm gonna go back into my dark color okay and with a fan brush I'm just gonna pull a little bit of that dark in darken it just a bit. Yeah, I like that. Um, so Gidget, what I did was I sanded my blade and then I covered them with a black acrylic. Okay, now I think we're going to highlight a little more of the tree because it's a little too dark and it blends in with the background too much. So, again, just a touch of paint thinner. I'm barely dipping a couple hairs into the paint thinner. And I'm just loading my brush with the titanium white. I pulled from some of that dark color. Okay. Uh, black gesso or black acrylic work. You don't have to do black. You can use white. I'm gonna come over here. There we go. We'll just tippy tap a little another layer on there. Just tippy tapping. Like I said, when I tap or when I make trees, y'all should be tippy tapping that screen. <laughs> This guy, bop, bop, just tippy tap. Oh, whew, yeah, there we go. That extra bit of color. That's what we needed. Now I gotta. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys. I should have had a mall stick, but I appreciate that you guys are coming in and watching me and hitting that like button. Ooh, that's a little bright there. I'll just kind of work.
work with that in just a second. Brighten that tree up. This one up just a touch. Just hitting the corner of my fan brush. Tapping. Tap, 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 tap that screen. <laughs> Tapping as I go down there. Now then, I had a real bright spot there, so I'm going to dole that out. Just pushing a little dark color in there. Just to dull it out. It's a shadow side. So we don't need too much. Okay. There we go. Make that guy nice and bright. There we are. And then I'm going to come down here with my fan brush. Just poke a little bit of light there and then pull up. Looks like grass and weeds. Okay. Boy, that turned out quite well. Oh. Every once in a while, I surprise even myself. <laughs> All right. Come in here. Put the knife drop some paint off. What I think I might do is right up here I'll add a moon. You know, uh, my price on a saw blade, I don't know because this is actually the second one I've ever done. And the first one, I just I wiped it. Well, this is the blade <laughs> from my first experiment. It didn't go so well, and I didn't like it, so wiped it right off. So I'll have to think about a price on this. Now, if I can find my filbert brush, we'll pop in a moon. Ooh, I do need to take a look here. I think, just taking a step back from the light, I think I knew. Thank you. Brighten up the foreground a little bit. I just kind of, I can see now that it, my eyes kind of been trained. I can see what's needed and when and where. I wasn't too happy with that, so. Okay. There we go. Nice cold feel. Burr. <laughs> All right, now where was I? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to find my Filbert brush. Ah, there he is. Hey, Filbert. Just had to call his name. Silver brush with white. Let's put the moon right there. So all I'm going to do is just kind of try to spin a circle. But I have a feeling I may need to thin this paint just a touch. Yeah, I mean, put a touch of paint thinner on there. That'll make it stick more. Spinning it. Oh, that turned into a big, big old moon. That's okay. Even it out. Of course, when that dries, I can add another coat of white on there. That might be able to get it a little brighter. Brighter. Clean my brush. And I got some titanium white on my my knife here. I'm just gonna scrape it right off. There we go. Now we can 
whiten and brighten that moon. Get it to glow like that, a winter's moon. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Okay? I think you guys get the idea. Now then, let's let's do a thing here. Be very, very careful. Okay, so this is what I was wanting to get. This is a perfect saw blade. As you can see, I did it freehand. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I just, uh, that canvas had a rip in it, so it worked great to stabilize. So, let me get you guys a little up close and personal shot. Right to the saw blade. How about that? There we go. May. Oh, maybe a little more paint thinner. Let me flick some more stars here. Rattle my brush a little bit. So try, there we go, that's what I want. Just load that sky up with some stars. Well, thank you guys for the likes. What have we got? What was that, 8,000 likes? Wow, that's pretty good. I appreciate that. I really do. Now, I don't know. I'm Thinking. Oh, thank you, Kitty, for the rose. I'm thinking I may call this one finished. I've, like I said, I've never done a saw blade before. So, we've got some clouds, a dark, so a dark sky with a bunch of stars. We've got a moon, and I will touch that up later, but... Um, for live purposes, I just kind of wanted to show you you could throw a moon in there. Um, so we got our clouds, got a layer of mountains, some trees across the lake, a couple of trees here and there, and our center. So we can see the moon reflecting right onto the, the lake there. 